Hello guys, welcome. This is Tipika from mytutorialrack.com and today we're going to talk about the different types of AI. So we can categorize AI into two types. One is called as generative AI and the other one is called as predictive AI. What is the difference between a generative AI and predictive AI? So generative AI is basically used to create content. It can create a text format. It can create the content in a image format. It can do a lot of things for you. So for example, chat GPT, right? You can use chat GPT to write you a blog post. You can use it to write an email for you. You can use chat GPT to write a summary of a particular text for you, right? So it can do a lot of things. Now there's another tool called mid journey, right? You can use that chat bot to create beautiful images. So all of these are examples of generative AI. Now, what is a predictive AI? This predictive AI uses historical data to give you predictions. Okay, predictions for how much revenue your company is going to make next year. What is your sales projections looks like, right? So that is what is called as predictive AI. Now let's go ahead and look at the definition here. Generative AI creates content. It can create you code, music, and marketing material, and can translate data into different formats. So that is what generative AI is, is used to create content. Now how generative AI is using uh, is generating content because you have fed a lot of data to generative AI model and that's how it is using that data to figure out to be more creative, getting a style of the document that you're looking for. So you have fed all that information and based on that generative AI is able to produce code, it is able to produce email, it is able to produce a content in a text format or image format, etc. Generative AI focuses on creating new and original content such as images, text, and other media by learning from existing data patterns. So using the existing data pattern, whatever the data you have fed, based on that, it is creating some new and original content. It fosters creativity and is valuable in creative fields and novel problem solving. So that is what the purpose of the generative AI is. It is used to generate content in different formats. Now, what is predictive AI? Predictive AI makes predictions, recommendations, and decisions using various AI and machine learning techniques. Okay, so predictive AI will help you do predictions about how your revenue looks like. Now, based on that prediction, you have a certain steps to take, right? It'll help you in making those decisions. It'll help you that, okay, sh what time of the year should we launch our product? What is the best way we can launch our product so that we are going to have maximum sales? You can get those kind of predictions okay is it november december time frame is it january to february time frame whatever the time frame is it can help you predict and you can make sound decisions about your business predictive ai makes predictions recommendations and also will help you to decide what should be your next steps in your business in your career whatever it is predictive ai uses patterns in historical data to forecast future outcomes or classify future events it provides actionable insights insights and aids in decision making and strategy formulation. So that is what predictive AI does because even to predictive AI, you are going to feed a lot of data, just like we fed generative AI models a lot of data. Similarly, predictive AI is going to, we are going to feed a lot of data to it and it is going to establish patterns in that data. It will figure out, okay, what it is. And based on that, it is going to give you some predictions. Now, based on those predictions, it will help you to make sound decisions in your business or wherever you want to apply those, okay? So predictive AI does predictions. Which whereas generative AI helps you generate content in different formats. I hope the difference between generative AI and predictive AI is crystal clear. Thank you very much, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care.